This is Margot, an adult figure skater from Poltava, Ukraine. Всем привет, ребят! Меня зовут Марго. Добро пожаловать на мой канал Just Skating Go. We have met Margot online about a year ago. Just like us, she has a YouTube channel about adult figure skating, and just like us, she shares everyday experiences, tips, funny moments in hopes to inspire other people to try our beautiful sport. Margot has started figure skating a few years ago as an adult. And while trying to figure skate in a smaller town comes with its own challenges, like difficulty finding coaches or ring closures, which often force her to take a bus to a larger town, Kharkov, to get her training in, she persevered, tried really hard, and she has found her success by participating in competitions and even winning and mastering a lot of the elements she has always dreamed of. Her Russian language figure skating channel called Just Skating Girl has been growing really fast. Her Russian speaking audience loves her charming and charismatic personality, her cheeky sense of humor and the useful tips she shares with them. The content of her channel is very similar to ours, and since I speak Russian, every now and again we would connect to share ideas, give feedback, and just chat about our experiences. Her audience eagerly tuned in for the newest skate reviews, figure skating life hacks, makeup tips, and just to be a part of her general experience and her journey. Margot is your typical girl next door. She's very open, genuine and likable. She's not shy to share her funny and embarrassing moments on ice. She's very open about providing honest feedback about coaches, skate sharpeners and anything related to figure skating. Adult figure skating community in Ukraine and Russia is not quite as developed as here in the West and doesn't get as much support. And in the comments under her videos you could often see comments of people praising her and thanking her for being so inspirational and for helping them to keep going and for giving them motivation to continue. She's a great driving force behind the growing popularity of adult figure skating in Ukraine and Russia. And besides all that, she was just a regular girl living her regular life, enjoying her figure skating adventures, until it all changed. A group of special forces, Russian special forces, ha has entered Kharkiv. As the Russian military started invading her country, I checked on her, and while being very concerned and worried, obviously, she still maintained her usual positive demeanor and was very hopeful that the whole thing was not gonna last long and was not gonna get too serious. But with each passing day, the mood will get darker and darker. As I mentioned before, Marko used to live in a smaller town close to Kharkov that the Russian military has not quite unleashed its full force on yet. But Kharkov, which is her neighboring city, where she would use to go figure skating, and where her boyfriend lives and many of her friends live, are under full-pledged attack. She had to flee Ukraine along with her sister, leaving her entire life, her boyfriend, her friends, and parts of her family behind in Ukraine. And of course, we assume figure skating is probably not the first thing on her mind anymore either now. She has recorded a video message for us to share with all of you guys to tell you firsthand how things are in Ukraine and what she has been through. We're gonna play her message for you in a bit with English subtitles, but first we wanted to let you know that we're starting a Patreon account and encouraging you all to donate. This will help us continue doing videos like this and the big portion of what this Patreon account acquires will be donated to support Margot and maybe other Ukrainian adult figure skaters if we manage to connect with them. Meanwhile, we are hoping for the brighter future where Margot and other figure skaters like her can finally put all of this behind them and return to doing their regular activities, living their regular life and doing what they love most like the love of figure skating. Всем привет! Меня зовут Марго, мне 19 лет, и я фигуристка из Украины. Сейчас, наверное, ни для кого не секрет, что происходит в Украине. И я думаю, уже мало кто верит в то, что там происходит какая-то специальная военная операция. А в Украине происходит самая настоящая полномасштабная война, которую развязал президент Российской Федерации против нашего суверенного государства. Я сейчас нахожусь в Германии, вместе со своими родителями, которые здесь живут. В первые дни, когда все это начало происходить, они слишком сильно боялись за мою жизнь и жизнь моей сестры, поэтому, ничего не спрашивая, просто вывезли нас сюда. То, 
что говорят по русскому телевидению, о том, что это просто спецоперация, обстреливаются, скидываются бомбы только на военные объекты, это все абсолютная ложь, это неправда. Сожженные дотла Харьковские, Киевские школы, Харьковские, Киевские жилые кварталы, на которые были скинуты бомбы, люди сидят в бомбоубежищах неделями, потому что они просто боятся выйти на улицу и получить бомбу в голову. Это все то, что ежедневно происходит в Украине. Все, что у меня было, осталось в Украине. Я потеряла работу, мою собаку забрали наши знакомые, потому что он бы не выдержал 2000 километров пути. Все мои друзья остались в Украине, мой молодой человек остался в Украине, в городе, который ежедневно находится под обстрелами, в Харькове. Я до конца верила, что через неделю мы вернемся домой, и все это страшное действие, которое сейчас там происходит, оно закончится. То сердце все равно осталось в Украине вместе со всеми родственниками. Моя также бабушка, мой дедушка, мой дядя, очень много моих родственников, они остались также в Украине. И в городах, которые ежедневно находятся под обстрелами и под самым большим риском. Это Киев и Харьков. Просто хочется, чтобы все знали о том, что происходит на самом деле.